So he's got his rifle. He's got his world-class instructors. Now it's up to him to ring a target from 300 yards. Okay, I'm dead on. You, it's all on you, sir. Damn, good. Yeah. The first shot's good. But Ted's not satisfied. That's uh, three inches below center mass and three inches left. You want to go one more, you can try to hit that gong. You just barely missed the gong. So one more shot from 300 yards with a World War II era rifle at a dead center hit. Hey, you got, you got the gong that time, sir. Dead center. But you walked him right up, one, two, three. You couldn't ask for any better performance. So you take direction better than my partner does. I don't think so. And now he'll have one more chance to take direction. The next shot is the one he's been waiting for, a thousand yards. I couldn't, I couldn't even dream in a thousand years how, how you would do that, how you'd even see a, a human that far away, you know. So you're anxious to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll have the latest technology on his side for this one. The O3 Springfield is replaced with the AMU's custom Remington 700, one of the most accurate rifles in the world. Modern day snipers also have the luxury of working in teams. Sergeant Johnson is the shooter, while Sergeant St. John is the spotter. Weather conditions, environmentals as they call them, are the key to calculating the perfect shot. For every mile an hour of wind that we're looking at right there, we're moving the bullet 10 inches. And once the calculations are made, it's up to Sergeant Johnson to take the shot. And then he'll say, ready, and then I'll tell him I'm ready by telling him to send it. If he doesn't get it off in three seconds, then we're looking at major changes possibly in environmentals. And so we would have to restart. Robbie, go ahead and give me a light half to a heavy quarter. Favor towards that heavy quarter, though, okay? Send it. And that one was one inch, one inch right of center and about three inches low. Ted Gundy has been watching intently. If you'd like to shoot down, we'd, we'd be honored to have you shoot our rifle, sir. Okay. This is the moment this old veteran has been dreaming about, trying to put a bullet on a target at a thousand yards away. I, I hope that I can hit the target, but uh, I, would, I would, if I was betting money, I'd bet nine to one that I don't. <laughs> but that's a long, long way. It is. But he's got the equipment, he's got the instruction, and perhaps most importantly, he's got the experience. We have so much respect that those guys could take the rifles back then and do pretty much the same things we're doing now. It's finally time for Ted Gundy's dream shot. Nervous. It's all right, sir. It's going to hit. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's it. Good hit. Actually, it was much better than a good hit. Though no one could tell from more than half a mile away, Ted's first attempt is a headshot on the steel target. And I can't explain it how my heart was pounding and I was breathing heavy and lucky I didn't even hit it. <laughs>